Windups is one of the three archetypes supported by the new mini box. I used this build from Legend 2 to King of Games. It's worth mentioning that I do not think that this is the best way to play the deck by any means. There are two builds which I think are more competitive. There is this Endless Trap Hell build. Needle Sealing works well with Zen Mains and Rabbit. Wielder is good for Synchro plays or making Zen Mighty. And then there's also this build with what grows in the graveyard. Just Spore by itself gives you Zen Mighty plus every. Or Just Glowup Bowl by itself will give you Zen Mighty plus a level 6 Synchro. The combos for that will be written out in the description. Upon further testing, I do not think the wind-up build which I used is better than those two. But if you really want to play wind-up factory, then this is a good way to do it. Factory works better in this deck than it does in the other two. I think one weakness of wind-up is that it has no searchable or easily accessible disruption. What I mean by this is that doing a wind-up combo does not let you add anything to your hand that would stop your opponent, unlike Karakuri for example which can search for a very strong trap card. The way this build of wind-up handles this particular issue is with the skill balance. With a ratio of 8 monsters, 6 spells and 6 traps in a 20 card deck, balance will give you a monster, spell and trap in all of your starting hands. This means that you will not be able to do a wind up combo on your first turn as often, but in exchange you become much more loaded with ways to defend yourself. I use free wind up shark, it is definitely one of the better ones to draw, Plus, even if balance gives you no other monsters, you can still just summon it and use the effect to trigger Wind Up Factory and to search for Wind Up Rat, which gives you a nice play for your next turn. I use free Wind Up Factory because for balance you need 6 spells, and Factory is one of the best ones that Wind Up has. For other spells, I use Forbidden Lance for back row removal and the attack debuff and two Herald of the Abyss for the Invoked Water Monster and other large monster threats. For the traps, I use two Treacherous. The card is really strong. You can also use it to target your own Zen Mains, which in doing so works with the effects of Zen Mains. Zen Mains is really good and the deck can make it very easily, so that's why I use two. For the other traps, I use Fiendish Chain and Canadia. They are generally really good and work well with Treacherous because Treacherous needs no traps in the graveyard. I use two of each instead of three of one and one of the other because most of the time I would rather draw one of each instead of two of the same one. Also, Canardia has synergy with Wind Up Zen Mayo. You can Canardia their monster face down and then destroy it with Zen Mayo. Zen Mayo is strong but hard to summon because you need to summon it using two shark, so I like using just one. For the other extra deck cards, I use two wind up carrier Zen Mighty. This card is what makes the deck work. Sometimes I want to use three, but I couldn't make space for it because I wanted to use Diamond Direwolf and Trishula. Diamond Direwolf is nice removal to have. Trishula is for stuff like Floodgate Trap Hole or just generally making space on your field. I use two Wind Up Rabbits. I like this card a lot. It works very nice with Factory and lets you dodge spells and traps. Also, using it to unclog your field can sometimes be important because only having free zones is an issue for this deck. This deck is quite limited with just free zones and that's also why I only use one wind up magician. Drawing this card is only good if you also draw shark and with balance that's even harder. And the combos with it are not super crazy because of there only being free zones. Wind up rat is super important. It lets you make your turn one board of zen mighty and zen mains. That is all for the deck breakdown, if you have any questions put them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. I will be doing more videos on new stuff in the days to come, and yeah, enjoy the gameplay.